Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Recently, the OH6A Loach mod was released for DCS World, and a lot of people have been really excited for this thing. It's been in development publicly for a very long time now, or what feels like a very long time anyway, and today we are going to check it out. So, I'm going to take a quick look at it here in the mission editor, and this thing is basically like, if you remember, some of you have been around long enough to have seen the AH6J mod that was released a couple of years ago as a uh, helicopter EFM demo mod, and the AH6J was actually pretty decent as free helicopter mods go, but this is on a totally different level, it really is. This is actually an older version of the MH6 AH6. This is the OH6 Alpha, which is it's like an old Vietnam era uh, Hughes 500 type helicopter, and you can tell that because of the tail design with the angled stabilizer here, as well as the four blade main rotor later models had a five blade main rotor so this thing has less lifting power and it really does show this thing is a very light aircraft it's mostly an observation helicopter as you can probably tell pretty much off the bat by the way it's designed a lot of glass a lot of open doors in the fuselage here and it's also pretty lightly armed so you can carry a lot of different things, but it's not a good idea to carry too many of them at one time. As you can see here, we can carry various types of HE and smoke grenades, and these drop like bombs, basically, so it's kind of like having a very small bomb sort of thing with the HE grenades and then the smoke, obviously, well, it's a smoke grenade, and you get different colors that you can use. Um, you can have an M60 machine gunner here, you can also have a minigun here, which there is no gunner model for the M60 at the moment, or for the M134, sorry. Um, we can also have a forward firing minigun, which does look pretty cool, and it, it shoots pretty cool too. And we can carry rockets, as you can see here, although it's a very different configuration than what the AH-6J had, and... Honestly, this is about the limit of what this thing is capable of carrying, unlike the AH-6J, which could just about get away with carrying two 19-shot rocket pods and a couple of miniguns without any real trouble. This thing, on the other hand, it's actually with full fuel, it's at 103% of its maximum takeoff weight. I have to reduce the fuel to about 85% in order to get it down to its max takeoff weight with all this stuff on board. So today we are going to take a minigun and one seven-shot rocket pod, and that's going to be it for us today. I'll uh, do a quick flight demo, and then we'll wrap this video up. Alright, so we are here in the OH-6 cockpit, and you'll immediately notice that the cockpit is much more nicely detailed than the AH-6J had. We can see that minigun out there. Um, can just barely see my rocket pod down here, just the very edge of it. And we've got a little bit different control situation going on here. So in order to use the gun sight, we do have an actual gun sight here instead of an aiming dot, as you can see right there. It's Although this is in and of itself a bit difficult to use. Everything about this helicopter is definitely a higher skill level. So in order to set up our weapons, we have to flip the master arm switch to on, and then we've got to move this selector all the way to the right to f fire normal, or fire to, uh, the middle position is fire to clear, and then the left position is safe. Then we have a selector switch here as well that swaps between the minigun over here, which is what it's currently on, and the rockets. Um, other than that, we also have the rockets on its selector here, and pretty much set this to anything other than zero or one. For some reason, one doesn't work. Um, but set it to zero, uh, to two or higher to use the rockets, and then change, flip this switch up in order to use the rockets as well. 
and otherwise the controls are pretty simple. Now, I am about to take off here, but I'm going to warn you guys, I know I am not the greatest helicopter pilot in the world, but even as helicopters go, this thing, easy to fly? Definitely not. This is very difficult to fly compared to the AH-6J that I was used to, and even the Apache. So I'm going to slowly lift off here and you'll see what I'm talking about. Whoa. Attempt to slowly lift off. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this for the camera. Let's, uh, let's try to gain some altitude here. Uh, yeah, this is, this is nasty. Apparently you have to use a lot of trim for this helicopter, which I am not used to at all. Um, whoa. Easy there. Easy, easy, easy. Hey. Let's, uh, let's, let's try this again. So, full collective. Why is it not doing what it's supposed to do? Something is definitely wrong here. I think I might have clipped a rotor blade. Yeah, we are not rising at all. All right, let's try this again. All right, so I set up my trim, which is not something I normally do for most aircraft. Yeah, I know, I really should. But we're going to attempt to fly this thing this time, and we'll see if I can actually make this work. So, move that a couple of positions. We're all armed up and we should be able to fire rockets now. Let's, uh, try to gain some altitude here. Because if I have altitude to play with, then I can fly this thing more easily. I have more room for error. Now, I've got some trucks over there. I'm probably not going to be able to hit any of them with these rockets because... Again, very difficult to fly, but we will... Whoa! Yeah, so... That was even further off the mark than I was expecting. And, uh, yeah. Well, that's how difficult this thing is to fly. And I hope you all have enjoyed how much pain I was <laughs> enduring flying this thing. I really wanted to enjoy this so much, and to a degree I do, but I, it just, it, it really takes a while to master it. It really, really does. But I hope you've enjoyed it, because that's going to be it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.